One Armenian soldier was killed today in the eastern section of the Armenia-Azerbaijan state border after Azerbaijani forces once again opened fire on Armenian positions, according to the Armenian Defense Ministry. Two other soldiers were wounded in the fresh attack by Azerbaijani forces. The ministry said in a statement that the shooting stopped at around 2.30 p.m. and that the Armenian military is in control of the situation. And a motion has been submitted to detain five of the ten Armenian prisoners of war who were returned from Azerbaijani captivity on December 4th. The soldiers had reportedly been captured during the November 16th attack by Azerbaijan. According to the press secretary of the investigative committee, Vartan Tadevosyan, the five soldiers have been arrested and a motion has been submitted to detain them. The returned captives have been charged for violating the rules of military service, which caused repercussions. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan stated on November 17th during a government Q&A that each individual case should be properly investigated and the circumstances of each capture must be examined. This furthermore comes after a scandal erupted, wherein Armenia's parliamentary speaker, Alen Simonyan, stated that the POW's issue doesn't exist for him, implying that some captives were in fact deserters. The leaked video of Simonyan's remarks caused outrage among the families of POWs, with many political and public figures calling for Simonyan's resignation. An Armenia's environment minister, Romanos Petrosyan, has been relieved and appointed as head of the state supervision service. He will be replaced by member of parliament for the ruling party, Hagop Simidian, who was first elected in 2018. Simidian previously served as chief advisor to the prime minister. And in Moscow, spokesperson of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, called on both Armenia and Azerbaijan to refrain from statements that will slow down the implementation of the trilateral agreements between Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia. Commenting on a recent statement by Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev, who threatened to use force to make Armenia open a corridor through its southern regions, linking the Azerbaijani exclave of Nakhijevan to Azerbaijan proper, Zakharova called on the parties to refrain from statements that will slow down the implementation of the agreements and could lead to further conflict. And the Martena International School of Leadership and Professional Development will soon be established in Armenia. In collaboration with the renowned Skolkovo Moscow School of Management, Ruben Hayrapetyan, co-founder and director of Martena, as well as Yuri Levin, dean of the Skolkovo School, break down what sort of education will be provided and how young Armenians will benefit. And finally, in the latest edition of Insights with Erika Kopian, Eric discusses the International Court of Justice's orders regarding the Armenia v. Azerbaijan cases in The Hague. Eric explains what was advantageous to the Armenian side and where the rulings fell short. <laughs> 